Information technology is the threat that holds everything together and drives continuity. ICT creates, communicates, trades, translates, reads, writes, and does so much more than mankind has ever done. But who or what drives information communications technology? CWG is a journey that started 25 years ago. Uh, it started by my going out to, to provide better service in the IT sector because where I was working before, I thought that uh, we could do better with uh, serving the customer. And in giving the better service, all those second generation now changed the game. We went into more of providing value add than just selling equipment. For instance, we then started providing uh, maintenance services. We started linking the computers in a local area network. Before then, you bank at the branch where you opened your account. But to do uh, banking in all other branches, all the data had to be in a central place where you can see balances and so on. And therefore, they needed to connect them countrywide. And that's where we made a lot of progress with our foray into wide area network. We've gone from being a hardware company and then adapted to communications and then went into software and then in managed services. And then in 2010, we took a decision that we were going to change direction and become a cloud company. We set out to be the biggest cloud in Sub-Saharan Africa, cloud provider. So we're providing software for insurance, for gaming, even for microfinance banks and mobile banking. In this age of rapid technological advancement, such growth and enduring persistence to quality service over 25 years is akin to, if not surpasses, the corporate traditional titans whose heritage spans several centuries. From the onset, Austin Okere was intent on building a world-class brand, and even with its humble beginnings, the company was pioneering a relatively new way of living first in Nigeria, the West African sub-region, and then on to Ghana, Cameroon, and Uganda. Its operations began with sales and maintenance of computer hardware, but soon required an expansion, which led to the establishment of DCC Networks, a division which added a whole gamut of communication solutions to the growing portfolio of services as demanded by the realities of its business engagements. So there was a need to provide centralized systems in the banking sector then. You know, so all those led to the emergence of DCC. It was, it was born out of uh, CWL, then the DCC company. A couple of organizations are mainly interested in getting services from, you know, getting services from one company to minimize bug passing and, and things like that. So you have some financial institutions, for example, that will want to buy infrastructure from you, they will want to buy software from you, and they will want you to connect all their branches from you, you know, from, from a one-stop shop arrangement. So it, it, it provided a lot of, um, will I say, giving them a lot of peace. It became clear to me in Expertage that while we had the technical competence, we didn't have the commercial competence. When the offer came for us to look at combining, and I think it paid off very well. The way it was working, the, the software was also requiring hardware. So if I sold a Finaco, you will need servers to run the Finaco. And that increased the hardware business. And if you buy Finaco, it actually requires bandwidth. And that increased your requirement for communication. So it became, you know, a virtuous, circle that allowed the company to, to continue growing. If information technology was shaping the world, CWG was shaping Africa's response and capacity development, and in 2008, the river of digital progress swelling behind the dam of antiquity burst forth. Uh, so we're breaking new grounds, we're breaking new barriers, whether it's in transportation, healthcare, um, manufacturing, we try to do for different areas of the economy that where the problems are and how can we use IT to solve these problems, creating value for individuals, creating value for businesses, creating values for enterprises 
and at the same time impacting the society. On the 15th of November 2013, CWG became listed as a public company, raising the market capitalization of the Nigerian Stock Exchange by about 14 billion naira, making Computer Warehouse Group PLC the highest capitalized security in the ICT sector. I think at a time when there was obviously a need for a technology solution, a platform solution to support microfinance banks in Nigeria, uh, CWG rose to the occasion. Um, at a time when there was a need to come up with the right kind of platforms to support um, uh, financial, mobile financial services in Nigeria, CWG also rose to the platform. We created a platform that enabled that to happen. And I think if you look at those things, it's actually translating government objectives into life. Um, MTN actually facilitated a kind of relationship with some microsystems in order to enable CWG build the capacity. And they did that. They build the processes, they build the capacity, they build the people, and the company matured over time. If I had to use two or three words to describe CWG, it would be about resilience, adaptability, and innovation. By 2014, the World Economic Forum recognized the company as a global growth company. So we'll, what we'll do right now is to partner with major stakeholders in the industry, providing unique and innovative solutions, providing platforms uh, for them to reach out to their many customers. The telecommunication industry have data of over 100 million Nigerians. So we're working with them in something we've termed co-creation, where we bring in the platform, we bring in the solution for them to sell beyond voice and data to their customers. CWG was determined to create solutions based on the needs and challenges of the native landscape. In targeting this vision, CWG was no longer bringing information technology to Africa, it was making information technology in Africa. Okay, CWG um, is a team environment. So we work together as a team, that's with my colleagues. Then we have superiors who serve as coaches, not bosses, they don't boss you around. So they give you that comfort to be able to do what you are asked to do. They give you allowance to fail and learn from your failure and make you a better person. So CWG, our 25th anniversary, we are mentoring new companies. We want to consult you, we want to know your problem, you know, and provide a solution that fits to your needs. The corporate vision and history of CWG has come to fruition, not merely as a journey of 25 years started by four members of staff. The human resources raised and nurtured over the course of its development have created a culture that mixes the ethics of excellence at work with a vibrant fraternity. The qualities that we look for in a typical CWG employee is a teachable spirit. Um, someone that is willing to learn, relearn, unlearn. One that is willing to make great impacts in the lives of others. This is uh, Professor Ndubisi Ekekwe. Extending my congratulations to all the team members in CWG PLC for the 25 years of legendary service to Africa's uh, technology space. Your organization uh, is one of the pioneers that actually brought this redesign of acceleration of productivity in Africa's uh, technology space. Congratulations, CWG PLC, for serving Nigeria and Southern Africa in general. Thank you. For all the successes recorded by CWG, the company is convinced its accomplishments are nothing if not a responsibility to act for the benefit of those in dire circumstances. And in the CWG Academy, we take in fresh intakes, we put them in there for three months, First month is our culture and the general hardware, software, communication. The second month they go into their individual area. Someone to be coder, someone to be um, developer, someone to be design, hardware, maintenance. And then, of course, in the third month we send them out on the field for, uh, to do work. And they do so well. Before coming here, I thought it was just going to be about software. 
just software development and all. But then after coming, I realized it's much more than that. We went through sales, information systems, software development, hardware, and networking. So it's actually, it actually surpassed my expectation. CWG has helped me to actually achieve my dream. Much often than normal, there are a lot of challenges. You know what it is in Nigeria to, to have um, power, 247, to ensure that there is, there is water. Most of these things are things that you have to provide by yourself. And then most importantly, we have a data center that has to run, that runs 24-7. You cannot afford not to have power 24-7. The future of information technology in Africa will depend on just how much of it is developed from within the parameters of its own experience. This is already a future in the making with CWG. We've discovered that we can actually develop our own products, our own solutions into our own market. Our goal is actually to, 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 to increase um, you know, the economic base of the nation, whereby we are able to employ more people, whereby we are able to generate revenue that stays internally. So we've instituted a lot, a wide number of structures, a wide number of systems you know, that will ensure us that we are sustained for the next 25 years. It is a long way from the early days of computer hardware sales and maintenance to blazing the trail of digital progress in Africa. But at CWG, success is a quest and not a protocol. Therefore, navigating through the vast changes in technology whilst providing first-class services to its clients, the company is certain to remain in the forefront of information and communication technology, well ahead to the next quarter of a century and beyond. An organization that has seen the need to build local capacity by establishing the CWG Academy, presently with over 1,450 graduates since its establishment in 2010. I must commend the managers of the business because they have uh, slaved, they have worked hard and they have uh, given up time, quality time for their uh, spouses and their family members just to achieve the goals and aims of uh, CWG.